Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to Gamergy, and welcome back to our Poppy Playtime character concept series. So the character we're looking into today is known as Poe. So we'll go through this character's backstory, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. But before doing any of that, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe to Game Dupe as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, we'd just like to say a little disclaimer that this is not exactly what will happen in Chapter 4. This is just a fan-made story for entertainment purposes, so keep that in mind and enjoy. But alrighty, with that all out of the way, let's get into the character concept for Poe. So previously in our Poppy Playtime character concept series, we've been looking into the characters from the Nightmare Critters. So far, all the critters we've covered have all had a tragic backstory and have it out for the main protagonist. So far, we've met Baba Chops, Icky Licky, Raby Baby, Alistair Gator, and Simon Smoke. Each different character has proved to be quite the challenge for the player, but in the end, they managed to escape these nightmarish creatures. But now they face yet another nightmare critter, and they better be ready for whoever it is because if they don't, then they wouldn't be alive for much longer. So now, let's introduce the next Nightmare Critter, and this character is simply known as Poe. This dark little raven isn't a fan of the outside world and its bright radiant sun. If Poe had it their way, they'd prefer the world to be nothing but darkness. Poe. Poe hates the sun, and thinks it's a cruel trick of nature that the world needs it in the first place. Most comfortable in the dark, they spend their nights hanging around graveyards, listening to music, and feeling vaguely angry at nothing in particular. They insist this isn't a phase. Scent, cinnamon. So it's safe to say that Poe is quite the dark and moody character, which is quite fitting seeing as Poe is a reference to the gothic writer and poet Edgar Allan Poe. More specifically, they're a reference to his famous story, The Raven. So as we already know, Poe was quite the outcast. They never liked being out in the open and always seeked out the darkness. To be honest, the shadows were the only friend Poe has ever had. Even though their character bio states that they love graveyards, Poe has never actually been to one. They hope that one day they'll get to see one in person. But seeing as there was no graveyard in the factory, Poe chose the next best thing. They would spend all their time in the Ludwig Library. This was a personal library that housed all of Elliot Ludwig's collection of books. Elliot was known to read and study many famous works over the years. He even published his own book titled The Ludwig Legacy. But after the factory fell into chaos, it's been abandoned for quite some time. And since this private library never had any guests, it was perfect for Poe. They would perch themselves on top of the bookshelves and bask in the darkness. Poe valued their peace and quiet. And if anyone were to disturb this peace and quiet, then there would be severe consequences. The last time a stray toy wandered into the Ludwig Library, they had no idea what danger they were in. The last thing they saw were a few dark feathers gently falling from above. Then, before they knew it, Poe's deadly sharp talons tore them to shreds. The same would happen if anyone else were to disturb Poe, and unfortunately for the player, they would soon realise the danger that they would step into. And soon enough, they would have to deal with an angry and vengeful Poe. Speaking of, we now return back to the player. After escaping from Simon Smoke in the boiler room, they now find themselves in a strange new area. This place looks quite different to the rest of the factory. After wandering through a series of dimly lit corridors, they eventually find themselves in the Ludwig Library. They never knew a place like this existed in the factory. It must have been off limits to all the other workers and was only meant for Elliot himself. All around this area were rows and rows of books. It seems that Mr. Ludwig had quite the collection, but the main concern at the moment was how they were going to get out of here. There has to be an exit or a passageway through the library. And lucky enough, there was. At the end of the library was a single door. There was a strange mechanism close by with a note attached to it. It reads, The Ludwig legacy is missing. Return the book at once and access will be granted. You know which book I'm talking about. It's the purple one with the gold accents. So they need to find this book and place it in the holder. Once they do, the door is sure to unlock and the player can get out of here. They start searching through the shelves in hopes of finding this book. But seeing as there's thousands of books in this library, finding it could be quite the challenge. As they approach the first shelf, they see something quite strange. A few dark colored feathers falling gently from the ceiling. Then, moments later, something swoops down at the player. 
They dodged at the last second and see what it is. Perched up on a shelf was Poe. They stare down at the player with discontent. This intruder has disturbed their domain and they won't live to tell the tale. Poe plans to strike down at them as many times as it takes. The player will need to be careful of all these oncoming attacks. Poe flies back into the darkness and waits to strike again. The player needs to quickly find this book and get out of here. So in this gameplay segment, the player will need to roam around and search for the Ludwig legacy. But as they do so, they would need to look out for Poe. One way they could know that Poe was about to strike would be the falling feathers. When they see them, they'll need to quickly take cover. So as they continue to search through the shelves, they have no luck finding the correct book. They need to search for the purple book with the gold accents. And it could be anywhere. But suddenly, the player sees something shiny in the corner of their eye. There it is. Right on top of the shelf was the Ludwig legacy. All they need to do is climb the ladder and retrieve it. As they climb to the very top, Poe takes this chance to attack. At multiple times, Poe will try and swoop the player on the ladder. When this happens, they would need to stop climbing and turn around. They can strike Poe with their grab pack and that would send them flying away. This would happen multiple times, but the player just needs to keep fending off Poe whenever they strike. Finally, the player has reached the book. They take it off the shelf and slide back down the ladder. Poe sees this intruder holding the book and won't stand for it. Now on the way back to the door, Poe's attacks will be much more frequent. The player frantically dodges and ducks from all the attacks. They place the book in its stand and the door quickly unlocks. They rush right through and shut the door on Poe. Finally, they were free from this ravenous raven. But now they have no idea what lies ahead of them. Hopefully it wasn't another nightmare critter, but something tells them that it's not over just yet. But they won't know until they move forward. And soon enough, they'll know who was lurking around the next corner. So I think that Poe would be a great character to see in Chapter 4. I think the idea of a flying character would be quite challenging for the player. I also think the gothic vibes of Poe could bring another dark and creepy chapter to the series. But the player will have to be careful because the last thing they could see would be those falling feathers. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of our version of Poe and what you'd like to see going forward. Also be sure to comment down all your theories and what you think is going to happen in Chapter 4. And lastly, I just want to thank each and every one of you for watching and supporting today's video. We're having so much fun making these new Nightmare Critic character concepts and we're so glad you're enjoying them as well. And also a very big thank you to all of our GamerTube members. But alrighty everyone, until our next Poppy Playtime character concept video, I'll catch you later. Bye.